we don't often think about ourselves. Um, people have been thinking quite interestingly, people started to think about themselves more and looking after themselves more when lockdown happened. Um, and from speaking to, uh, to one or two of you, um, it was because maybe we were outside the culture of an office or, you know, getting in a van and going to places or whatever it may be. And we just created a little bit more time to look after ourselves. And I've said to a couple of people, not just in Centrica, uh, but I've said to a couple of people now going forward, you know, if you are going out for, you know, the lunch walk, uh, if you are looking after yourself or doing those exercises in the morning, when you start to filter back to the office, um, don't stop that. Yeah, try and keep all of that kind of stuff going because that self-care, it makes us achieve peak performance uh, more frequently, but more importantly, it, it, will get, it will help us with resilience when things go bad. You know, if your resilience low, uh, one little thing can go wrong and all of a sudden it's like the worst thing in the world that goes wrong. If your resilience is high, you can look at it and just go, all right, okay, well, I wasn't expecting that. How do we deal with it? Um, also, low resilience will equal a problem-focused mindset. High resilience generally equals a, equals a solution-focused mindset. So there's a major shift in the brain, um, and a lot of that has to do with energy, mental and physical energy.